Yo, what's up? We are now at U-Wash again. I have to do a round two of the whole frozen door handle challenge. This is uh, MC Hammer, my Tesla Model 3 performance. He's too legit to quit. I realized I did some mistakes with the previous video, which is that I didn't use, res I mean, <laughs> I used recirculation. So the whole idea was that, yes, you, you, have, to, uh, you have to push air inside to create overpressure so that it will work as design, which is that then the air will escape through the door handles and also the, the charge port. So we have to redo it. It's such a big mistake that I actually have to redo it. Otherwise, I wouldn't matter. I wouldn't care. So, yes, uh, let's then clean the car again. It, it's, <laughs> the car is not that dirty, but I have to, for the sake of the test, rinse the car. Yes. All right, MC Hammer is wet now. So uh, it is about minus 10 degrees Celsius outside. Now MC Hammer has Lumar paint protection film, which is a film, you can kind of see it there, it's thick. And on top of that, he also has Ceramic Pro coating. So you see the water just runs off like crazy. But that shouldn't matter too much because the water will still get trapped in the door handles and in the charge port. So now we, oh, this, this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is the, I think this is what infrared coating on the roof. But okay, let's go home. All right, we are back home now. I have to be a little bit quiet because it's, it's midnight. But let me show you that. We have, yeah, it's frozen. Parts of it here, you see? Yeah, that's good. Just a little way we like it. And this time I will not try to open the door because if you open the door at night, it will be easier to open it in the morning. I haven't tried the rear door. You see the rear door seems frozen. The charge port also seems fairly frozen, but just like last time, I'm gonna use my right hand and I have the squirt bottle. We just have clean water in here, uh, cold water. So remember, A, B, C, always bring squirt bottle. And now we're gonna make things worse. And it's still minus nine degrees. Actually, I think it's minus 10. I'm gonna make it real hard. Some people are complaining, ah, don't squirt from, be from behind, no. But you should squirt from above instead because that's where the rain usually falls. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. We only focus on the, on the charge port and I guess the door handle and the window. Just make it really hard. I remember guys, I could open the doors just fine earlier. The reason why I'm doing this is to purposely show you what happens. Normally, you see, there is no, no snow, nothing. Normally, if I don't wash the car, I can open and close the door, no problem. I don't have any issues every morning. It's just that we are provoking issues now. You guys understand that? We are actually provoking it. We are constructing a case here. I don't know if this is obvious or not, but usually people are not out squirting on their cars at night to do, yeah, to, create the case here so I guess oh man I'm almost done now my right hand is done <coughs> so okay let me change hands okay okay now let's see how long the, the left hand can endure so I want to give it a little bit of time to freeze I want it to properly freeze over this is almost worst case like you have some kind of rain shit rain shit in the evening and then it freezes over the next day and then it becomes really bad. I want to just focus on this side this time. I don't care too much about the other side. So, oh, are we done now? Done now? I'm going to empty the whole squirt bottle. The car was a little bit preheated, so, but I guess overnight now it should freeze over and then in the morning we're going to have some real fun again. Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we leave the car here. Actually, let's check here. I mean, it, giving it a little bit of time. Yeah, you see, it already kind of freezes over a little bit, but I'm not sure how much the Ceramic Pro helps. I mean, it, it's supposed to repel water quite well. So you can say, well, it's unfair to use a car with Ceramic Pro. Wait, are you saying that Ceramic Pro kicks ass for the Lord? Huh? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay, that's enough squirting. Now we wait until tomorrow morning. 
It is now 10.35 in the morning. As you see here, the car has been sitting still at night. Everything should be frozen. So let's unlock the door. Yes, remotely unlock. You see the light comes up there. Now let's check the door handle. Will it open? No, you see it's kind of frozen. So the trick is that you can do this. It stays in the manual. Just give a little knock and then try to push this side. No, it's still too frozen. Okay, same with the rear, I guess. Yeah. This is supposed to break the ice. But see, it's not enough because we did spray a lot of water there. This one, I'm not even gonna try. We, we can just try, I guess. Just for the sake of it. Charging. Open charge port. Yeah, it tried a couple of times and then it gave up. So, now we preheat. Good morning. It is now 10.39 and the car looks like this. And now we're gonna start preheating. You see it's 10.40 now. And now we're just gonna start preheating because I have to do my morning errands, which is to eat some breakfast, uh, maybe post some videos, do whatever. And then maybe around 11, I will walk up to the car. Because you know, we have a super stable app. It's easy to use. You can schedule preheating or you can just start preheating for the car. This is what I always do anyway. If I know that I'm going to drive in the morning, I will always preheat. We'll see it minus eight degrees Celsius. Why would I go inside the car now when it's minus eight? This test is supposed to be realistic and this is a realistic scenario. So let's wait a little bit and then I have to do some stuff. Okay, it's been about half an hour. See now it's 11 something. What? Can you see it there, Prana? It's a little past 11. So now let's see if we can enter the car, but I'm going to start a timer to see how much time we are actually wasting if we can't enter the car. Okay, we start the timer. All right, let's go. Oh, you see it's still yeah, it's still very frozen because that normal setting doesn't really help much. So you can try to clear it maybe with a with a bank card. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm already in. So how much time did I actually waste? Well, I didn't really waste that much time. I'm already in, you see. So I don't know. I, I <laughs> So we and I guess now I can. Uh, it's nice and warm in here. It's minus seven outside, but I can already start driving. See, no problem. So just preheat and you won't have any problems. Let me uh, move the car in, in front of the house now. So let me see. So you see this one is still working, but I want to try to remove some of the, some of the ice, some of the moisture so that it won't freeze again once I start driving and I stop see yeah so it should be fine now but again the back door is not working so and i could also try the same thing just try to so see like use the nail here or something use the bank card or something credit card and then and this one is harder okay that's good i i like a good challenge now what about the the passenger uh, side then because wifey will also ride with me well i didn't spray that crazy here so this is actually just normal washing yesterday right You do it like this, and then, yeah, you see, it opens, no problem. So, no problem really. Yesterday, I showed you the worst case, maximum clumsiness or maximum bad luck with weather. Uh, and I just want to show you, in case you don't know about these knocking tricks, what you can do in as an, as an alternative. But okay, you see, I'm also trying to clear up some of the, some of the ice, but now it should be fine, see? And what about this side? Well, okay, I guess the same thing here. We just have to try to clear some of that ice and then just do the whole 
knocking here, don't knock too hard, otherwise you might get a dent. <laughs> no, and then you try to push a little bit here, but it doesn't matter really. The back, we don't care about the back side. But what about the charge port? Okay, so it's probably still frozen. So now I'm gonna try the whole preheating trick again. So first I have to, well, I have to open the back door, but I can just reach it from here. Let me see, uh, where is the button again? Yes, it's there. All right, I found it. Uh oh, uh oh, the window doesn't go down. You see, this is, this is not good. So the window is frozen there. So let's see if I can manually lower it from this one. No, I can't. Do we really have to open the charge port? Well, not really. If you look here, we have 74%. So hopefully by the time we need to charge, it will have melted anyway. But okay, let's try the trick again. I have to open the, yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. Well, this is interesting. I forgot that I have the sleeping equipment here in the trunk. So this is also real world scenario that you might have some sheet in the trunk. So this might block some of the airflow, but okay, whatever. So now what I want to do is use camp mode because then we don't have to waste too much energy. And okay, and then we just crank up the heat too high. But you see that it wants to use recirculation. So that's a small tweak we have to do is not, don't allow it to use recirculation. And then just go fan speed. 10, which is maximum. And now it's gonna suck in air. Use this one also. Use this one. Yeah, maybe try to divert the airflow a little bit more forward. And then, so you get as much air towards the back, like this. This should be the, the optimal setting. The only mistake I did the previous time was I had recirculation on. So now we can just wait a little bit and we can also see, I even wasted some time moving the car. So we can still look at the, Look at the timer. How long have we spent? Okay, seven uh, something minutes. All right, let's let's uh, let's wait a little bit then. Ah, meanwhile, I got, uh, I got this one unstuck now. So the trick was that I pushed my hand against the window here and I just warmed up this, this section because I know that it is frozen here. So if you just warm up this side, the trim here with your hand, it will just melt like now so now we can open the door well it is okay i can show you it's semi semi closed but if you just reach in the inside you see it now you can open the door so we can also try to close it and now it works just like that so that's the trick so now actually in case you live in a place where you can't uh, where it's not safe to leave the car unlocked you can just do it like this and you have camp mode on and then you go to the app and you have to manually lock and the reason why I use camp mode is because if you use the regular heat preheating, it will also heat up the battery, but we don't need to heat up the battery. We only need to heat up the cabin. So now we wait. It has now been 24 minutes since we attempted to access the car. So it means that we've been trying to fiddle around at least 15 minutes, right? So we've been preheating for a bit. So I don't think 15 minutes would have done much, but let's try, well, let's see. yes, this one still doesn't open, but still I don't care. As for the charge port, I'm pretty sure it won't open now. We, we can check. Again, let's go into the app and then try. Well, you can also enter the car, but... What? Already? It opened. You guys saw it. It didn't open earlier. So... Yeah, you, you see here. <laughs> this is what I wanted to show you. Again, I've shown you before. This area here is totally melted. Let me see how far do you have to go until it, it's frozen. There, 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 there. There, you see? I'm going to show you quite quite clear what happens now this was a trick really this was the mistake i did yesterday there i'm just gonna kind of kind of wipe here you see that over here this whole rear section here is actually kind of melted and over here here you see it's ice here is nice and hot you see this is again the way tesla has designed this let me just show you here that i'm not kidding with you here we have ice you see i'm causing micro scratches now to the car uh, look here, see what I mean? This place here is frozen, but this, the whole rear section here, even if you had crap in the, in the trunk, it's melted because Tesla has designed the car to be like this, that <laughs> as long as you don't, don't have recirculation on, it will suck in air, create overpressure in the cabin, 
push air through the, the door handles and through the charge port. So, man, that was too easy. I even, I even prepared this one here, a squirt bottle with hot water because I was expecting to squirt some more to solve the problem. But I guess we could just, for fun now, since I already have the squirt bottle, let's see what happens now. I mean, it's like pissing to keep yourself warm. But I'm planning on putting the car into, in the garage afterwards anyway. But if you just do it like this, or if you do some, if you bring a, um, a bag of hot water, you should be able to, that, yeah, you see. And I think what you can do, if you do something like this, is wipe it afterwards with a towel. Just wipe the inside, wipe, wipe the edges here, wipe it. And then it won't freeze afterwards. So that's it, really. It was really the, the mistake I did. Use recirculation, and it works like a charm. So, anyway, now you guys see that, uh, because I think with the, with the previous video, you guys got the wrong impression and I did some mistakes. I was trying to educate you guys, but I did, the main mistake was not to recirculate. I mean, I, I should know the physics, but it was just giant face palm for me. So, now you guys see that the, the made in California, the design in California car actually works better than other cars, because let's face it, most other EVs I know, or actually all EVs I know, like for example Kona or e Nero, they have problems with frozen charge port. There is no air circling into the front there. Even e-tron owners experience problems with frozen charge port. Once it's frozen, you have to use some kind of hot water or heat gun or something to melt the parts of the charge port so you can open it. E-Golf owners also experience the same problems. And with the Tesla, the, the purpose of this video was to show you that by preheating the car, it will melt by itself without any other trick. Because, okay, I show you here that I have a squirt bottle, but you might not be, you, know, you might not have a squirt bottle or you might not have hot water around you if you're on a trip or something. So Tesla, again, is the best. Haters gonna hate, but that is the fact. So, with that one, I say that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.